Today's selection is the Rocky Patel number no. six. It originates in Honduras. The rapper is an Honduran and Corojo rapper. The filler is from Honduran and Nicaragua. The binder is Honduras as well. Today we're going to do a Toro 6.5 by 52. It is a medium strength and it comes in about five different sizes. It was the best cigar of 2020, but I'll let Billy tell you about the rest of that. That way you have something to talk about. Okay, and thank you and welcome back. Okay, just as he said, uh, we're doing the number six today, which is this one. Rocky Patel number six. The reason it got its name is because this was the blend number six they were using. So they really couldn't come up with a name, so they just figured, well, we'll name it number six. Kind of like the LB1. Same thing. That's a pretty good cigar there. Looks okay. I'm a little concerned about that cap, though. That cap looks a little sus right there. If you can see that. It's autofocus, but yeah, that cap's worrying me a little bit. And that construction is pretty good. This was named one of the best cigars of Honduras 2020 to Robusto. Uh, of some from cigar journals. They rated this number one in 2020. The Robusto. This is the Toro, which is the six and a half. Also uh, rated 93 by Cigar Aficionado in 20, uh, 2020. It was the number nine cigar of the year in the year 2020. Of course, we know how 2020 went. <coughs> you know what I mean? This comes in about five sizes. We're looking at the Churchill, which is the nickname Shaggy, which is a 7x48. We've got the uh, Corona, which is a Coronal Gordo, which is a 6x44. We have the Robusto, which is a 5.5 by 50. And we have the 60 Gordo, which is a 6.0 by 60. And of course, the Toro, which is a 6.5 by 52. And we're looking at According to Cigar International. We have 56 reviews and a breakdown as such. 35 gave it 5 stars. 18 people gave it 4 stars. And 3 people gave it 3 stars. Fortunately, we didn't have a Snidely Whiplash that gave it one star, but I'm sure he's lurking around there somewhere. Okay, enough of that. Let's um, let's get into this one. I'm going to go ahead and pop the top on it. I'm, like I said, I'm a little sus of that cap. I'm thinking if I cut it, it's going to take a little bit more off than I want. So I'm going to go with a hole punch. Which is something I've been doing lately. Don't know why I've been using a hole punch, but that's just how I feel. So this one is a combination cutter and a hole punch, as you see. And I've got two size hole punches here on the side. So I'm going to use the bigger one, which is this one. And let's go ahead and do that. And as usual, we're going to take it, try to get it as center as possible, and twist a little. Twist a little, twist a little, so we get it in there, and we're not trying to kill it, we're just using a little push and twist at the same time, pull out, sorry, pull out, and you should have a plug. And okay, let's do the cold draw. That's what, I'm sorry, that's what it looks like there. Let's do a cold draw on it. We a little sweetness. This is supposed to be a medium, but it, it's kind of light for a medium to me so far on the cold draw. Look at that sweetness, like a. Um, I always say it's a raisin bread or a currant without cinnamon, but. That's how I would describe it. 
light sweetness, almost like there was a touch of honey in this too. Even with the smell. Let's go ahead and light it up and see what we get. And as usual, we see we're always going to toast the foot. I would use my Rocky Patel uh, lighter. Can't find it. Don't know where it is. Don't know where I put it. Couldn't find it. We'll be old about that, but whose fault is that but mine? Okay, we're toasting, toasting, toasting. That's what you want to get there, so we're going to blow it. Blow on it. Sorry. And you want to get it kind of red. See how it's starting to smoke? Around the edges there. That's what you want. Just give it a little bit more. You want to get it going. See how far I am away from that. And I'm, I'm twisting the cigar. And I'm kind of moving the lighter around and not leave it in one spot. Okay, that looks pretty good. Look there. You got your smoke. Look at that edge. Nice and even. So now, usually people go ahead and hit it, as I say, hit it hard, but I like to use a match to finish it. See, I did that, I just kind of kissed it. They puffed it at the same time see lit pretty nice and even it's a good feeling so it feels kind of light and as i said it um when i did the cold draw it seemed kind of a like a medium almost like a mild didn't seem medium oh there it is there it is there it is Snuck up on me. Now I'm getting that nice pepper, that, that good medium taste. Excellent smoke. It's burning real good. It's only a few minutes into it. But while we're getting that pepper and that spice. See, I'm getting heavy, a little bit of leather on the back end of it, but that pepper is right there in the front. You got that spice right here in the middle, and there's that leather in the back. I'll tell you what, since this one snuck up on me, I'm going to think about it because on the cold draw, it didn't seem as a medium strength, but I say this is probably a medium to full. Because that, that, as soon as I lit it up, pow, it woke up. So let me think about this one. Smoke a little bit, bit of it and I'll be right back, okay? And we are back. Okay, this is what we got so far. See there? That ash is hanging. And listen, if you've seen in videos in the past, I got big Hulk hands. Knocked it dropped it, well I didn't drop it, but bumped it against the ashtray, that ash is hanging in there, love that, look how, look how even it's been burning, perfect, perfect, and just another side note, according to uh, RockyPatel.com, which is where I got this information, this is number six, is made in the El Pariso factory, which I believe is Rocky Patel's own factory. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. That's a beaut. Okay. This snuck up on me. It started that mild cold draw. And then as soon as I lit it, bam! It hit me. Medium full. I know it says medium. 
you got a little pool in there, it just jumped right out. Which is a big surprise to me. And I see why he picked this. Because it probably did the same thing. I don't know. I can't speak for him. But this one surprised me. So with the notes, the uh, spice, the leather, a little bit of honey. What should I do with this? What should I drink with it? Well, if you're not if you're a non-drinker, I'd go with a maybe a Dr. Pepper or maybe a Coke or something like that. If you don't do that, I'd probably go with a coffee or an espresso, something with a little bit of kick to it. Slight cream, not a lot of sugar, because you don't want it super sweet. If that doesn't appeal to you, ice water or an iced coffee would go great with this for you non-alcoholic people who I've heard from or woke about us. Okay, yeah. Iced coffee, an iced tea, maybe a matcha tea, something like that, something smooth, a milk tea. If that's what you're into, that'll go fine with this as well. I'm going to recommend this. I'm going to give it three and a half, four stars. It totally surprised me. If you like a medium to full, this is, this is your cigar. Burns well. Great smoke. Still got the same original ash on it. This is surprising to me. Because as I said, I'm heavy handed. I'm clumsy. I've always knocked them off. This stayed with me. Until just then, <laughs> I just lost it. <laughs> it just fell off. Just as I said that. Okay, so what are we going? What are we going to have with this? I gave you my suggestion as far as non-alcoholic. Now, for us that are Bushmills, Irish whiskey. Here's exactly what it is on front: smooth and mellow that's what we want we got a great tasting cigar on something a little smooth and mellow we don't want to compete we want to get along we don't want to win the race we want to be in it so oh that smell listen anybody that's drank this knows exactly what i'm talking about it has a great aroma to it listen Hit it with a little shot. Always put the top back on. Because if you ever spill whiskey, you know what I'm talking about. Anybody who spilled it, leave in the comments. I cried like a baby. I could be drinking it instead of wiping it up from somewhere. This is to you. To my subscribers. To my future subscribers everybody with an earshot of this video i wish you health and happiness and blessings for you and the people you care about and your loved ones this is for you that is smooth and mellow just what i want with a number six That'll put you in the mood. That'll relax you. That'll let you forget about the crappy day you had. Boss yelling at you. People complaining. Bad traffic. Dogs barking at you. Wife nagging you. I mean, you know what I mean. That, I'm going to close out. As I always do, thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking time to watch an old man rant and rave about cigars and things to drink and stuff like that. And if you haven't done so already, leave a comment below. 
And as I always say, Friday Chop, that subscription, and Kung Fu, that notification bell, so you'll be notified the next time I do a video. This is Billy the All-Star saying, oh, wait, what? Okay, yeah, sorry, thank you. I'm going to start a giveaway of some cigars, so stay tuned for that in the future. Uh, we're all cigar lovers here, so I figured I would spread the love and maybe do a sweepstake, a giveaway for some cigars. So stay tuned. It's not it's not gonna be anything we have to cut and paste and get a note from your grandmother and do the hokey pokey and turn yourself around because that's what it's all about. It's gonna be something simple. Let me think about it, pray on it, and I'll get back to you. Okay. This is Billy Also saying, as usual, you cannot be nice for the sake of everyone around you. Please just be cool. Don't be a hater. Always be a congratulator. See you on the next video.